Uh, welcome for this new webinar about Panorama Software Features. Um, today, uh, I'm, uh, I'm with Antonio Gil, who is the um, Customer Service Manager, and we are talking about cybersecurity in Panorama 2017. So, uh, I'll let you to introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, good morning to everybody. Uh, so, uh, I'm Antonio uh, Gilles. Uh, I've been working at Codewell for two years uh, as a, the customer service manager. I'm in charge of pre-sales uh, support for technical topics and after-sales technical subjects, uh, which include project development consulting, technical support and customer training. The customer service team at Codewell is about uh, 15 uh, persons. Uh, uh, of which engineers, consultants, and technical profiles. My experience score uh, uh, is more than uh, 10 years in industrial computing, and the last five years before Codra uh, on IT domain, uh, mainly cloud, SaaS, and uh, cyber security topics. Um, so this webinar is a special event because we are dealing with question and answer, that's not the standard uh, themes that we, we usually use. So we are dealing with some questions. So the first one is, of course, the why, why are we uh, dealing with this webinar today? Um, this webinar is about uh, cybersecurity, of course. And uh, uh, to give more uh, context of this webinar, I will talk about um, uh, some things dealing with uh, political. So let's talk about, uh, we know all that with governments worldwide seeking to protect their countries' critical national infrastructures and central information systems. We are talking about public and private. Uh, from cyber attacks to the creation of cyber agencies that are focusing not only on IT systems, but also on infrastructures such as transport, energy supply, food, health. Kodra has been engaged for some time in the understanding and consequences of cybersecurity due to the large number of operators of critical national infrastructure who use our solutions. Company IT infrastructures seem to be ahead of the game in this area compared to operational technology. We will call it OT. Due mainly that prior 2009, before any cyber agency existed, these systems have simply been partitioned as a protection from risk of cyber attack. However, the Stuxnet event of 2009 and 2010 showed that this type of threat had no limit by going as far as reprogramming the automation system. The introduction of clean computer rules has taken some time to reach these OT systems. Today, this partition disappears because of the needs and uses required that from a simple smartphone, we can now access the production data or control the process. So we have entered a conversion phase between OT and IT, even if some specialists tend to want to oppose these two worlds. Kodra's experience in sensitive environments such as nuclear and military for more than 30 years puts us ahead of the game in this area. So we wanted to give this webinar to explain our approach and our strategy as well as the concrete actions we've made for our solutions. We also present our new tools helping our users in their work of integration on an operation of panorama in a cyber security contest. So basically, what is easy to find behind the world cyber security panorama? We identify several axes uh, that are part of a continuous improvement process and which correspond to Codra's strategy on cyber security and which obviously has no handing. We therefore have a first product axis that corresponds to all the functional additions and tools that will make it easier to integrate our products into an industrial information system, whilst meeting the most basic and most complex security requirements. 
A second axis that we will define as methodological or implementation that covers the scope of all documentation and good practices of a general, specific and transverse nature. This axis covers the configuration of Windows OS in the context of use with Panorama. For example, we can mention the exclusion of anonymous accounts for DCOM services or how to set up the correct and sufficient configuration of user rights or how to configure a Windows hardened system. Each of these axes are not isolated and we will find synergies because a function of security in Panorama fits in a context that will be used according to the levels of security required and defined by the IT administrators, often inadequate with the level of requirement imposed by a particular directive. The objective is to adapt the security of Panorama and its ecosystem to the required levels, whilst respecting the requirements of the operators and users. The goal of Codra, or any company involved in cyber, is to answer five principles of computer security. Firstly, confidentiality, which ensures that only authorized services, functions or persons have access to information and data. Secondly, authentication, which ensures that every service, function or person is really who they claim to be. Third, availability, guaranteeing access to a service or resources. Fourth, integrity, which ensures that the content has not been tampered with willingly or involuntarily. And traceability, which makes it possible to inform, alert and log the activities of a system. These principles are systematically taken into account during the design, the development, the deployment and the running of Panorama applications. So what is exactly the strategy adopted by Quadra? We have included cyber security in our corporate strategy, which goes beyond the areas previously mentioned. We invest 20% of our turnover in our research and development, which allows us to put a large number of evolutions and improvements into Panorama, particularly in this area, such as the modification of the installation tools in 2015 or the signature on Panorama classes in 2016, as well as the innovation brought by Panorama Suite 2017 that we will have the opportunity to discuss during this webinar. We are positioning ourselves as the focus of the integrator user relationship because this topic affects all parties to the SCADA system since our role goes beyond the proposal of new features as we maintain this fundamental duty. Our role is thus deeply embedded throughout the entire process of a SCADA project. Firstly, as a software developer on the creation of our solution, of course. Secondly, in support of our integrators to help them integrate Panorama and deal with cybersecurity issues such as profile configuration, application design in constrained environments, etc. We also provide specific documentation as our guide for configuring Windows environments and their security that helps the integrator to implement Panorama by applying good security practices for flexible and efficient operation. And thirdly and finally, by helping our end users in operational and maintenance administration. As example, the security of access to avoid the famous login password operator 123, which is more common than we imagine, we still have some post-it notes on the screen with the password written on. The operational management of flights or the definition of the runtime process management, etc. This support is provided by teams of experts, trainers and support engineers who can help all stakeholders to respond to the implementation and operation of Panorama in the best condition. An important part of this strategy is the process of our solutions qualification by ANSI, 
ANSI is the official French government's agency for information system security, with whom CODRA has been involved since 2017. This step has been important for CODRA, as it will assure our customers that our Panorama solutions are certified and trusted. The qualification process, which is currently taking place, is unique and CODRA is determined to be the first SCADA manufacturer on the market to obtain it. One of the visible effects of the work carried out is the establishment of a CERT. This has three objectives. Firstly, prevention by monitoring the security buildings of our suppliers. We are talking about Microsoft or OpenSSL and sometimes their suppliers too. Secondly, the communication. By disseminating information about the precaution to be taken to minimize the risk of incidents and their consequences, and thus in case of a discovery of a security breach, CODRA will publish such information via, via its website. And the creation of a dedicated contact web space allowing users to report any security issue. Thirdly, a response to integrate security patches as quickly as possible. Thanks. Um, now, uh, we have seen the, the, the strategy of CodeWare in the Panorama Suite development, and now we are dealing with the, the tools. So what are the tools available in Panorama to enroll our application in the desired security approach? As we have seen previously, our actions target multiple objectives. Although Panorama Suite 2017 is a continuation of the work initiated in 2015 in terms of improving security, this new version marks a leap forward in the integration of new features that will be of the interest to the old stakeholders of a SCADA project. We are talking about IT managers, customers, uh, integrators, developers, etc. On the integrity and confidentiality aspect, we have created a control mechanism to ensure that files are not modified locally or during a deployment. The mechanism is based on a development of a file fingerprint using an SHR-256 algorithm so that Panorama checks this digital signature during loading and stops the execution in case of an integrity error. In fact, Panorama will display a pop-up asking if you want to go further and if so, whatever the choice will be, this anomaly will be locked. We integrated the encryption of the files that make up an application. This is a selectable option knowing that, that an existing application from an earlier version and therefore not encrypted can be used Panorama Suite 2017. The Panorama deployment tool is enhanced by a new option called Copy Access Rights. To retain and propagate systems access rights on the target computers during deployment. This avoids the tedious part of setting the administration rights and it's also possible to recover the system rights from the operational workstation to the development tool. In terms of securing flow exchanges within our solutions, we choose in 2015 to rely on standard secure protocols with the objective of delegating security to recognize third party whose security is part of their core business. For example, Microsoft or OpenSSL, well known for this. In the case of client server exchanges or process viewer composer for aficionados, we do not implement our own encryption. These types of exchanges rely on Microsoft RPC layers that natively support security streaming, which has the double advantage of being always up to date and thanks to Microsoft security updates and having our data flows supported on proven and secure encryption algorithm. Hence, Codra doesn't have to reinvent the wheel. Exchanges between our brand new mobile app and Panorama servers are also SSL encrypted. The requirements for application access passwords have been extended to all Panorama client tools. Indeed, many diagnostic tools have existed since many versions, application explorer, application comparison, Persis, and so on. Now a user will have to authenticate himself 
in order to access the features of the tools within Panorama Suite. Once the password protection features is activated in the application, we have enhanced our business mode, which allows the main components to be hidden. Among others, this can be objects or system folders, etc. It is also a password protected feature. Hence, this feature is also interesting for integrators or developers as it assists with protection of their intellectual property. From now, Panorama Suite 2017 applications will not store any password visibly in the development tool unless you know at least the read-only password of the application. We also added the ability to use Microsoft SQL integrated security for access to Microsoft SQL databases so that no SQL password is stored in the Panorama application. Incidentally, we also recommend the access right settings for this operation because in 90% of the cases, it is useless to configure a database administrator type privileges for Panorama. Let's talk now about the communication aspect. Security, we have added security announcement for SNMP v3. Our OPC UA client server certifications gives a further security announcement on Panorama. Uh, we now disable the uh, OPC DA access by default. We have a management of a white list of workstations that can connect to functional servers. This is a list of declared machine names or IP addresses. Panorama Infrastructures Monitoring verifies the methodological and implementation access previously mentioned in the strategy. We reinforced the best practices in the user manual. For example, the confidentiality and integrity management of all data streams, which ports to open, which, with which write, etc. Protection of Panorama application files accessed and applicable rights also. Uh, we are using accounts with less privileges, but keeping all mandatory operational features like DCOM, uh, Anonymous, the famous one we already talked about. Particularly useful in the development and deployment of applications, we provide with Panorama Suite 2017 a brand new setup wizard called Network and Security. It allows the reading and display of the PC configuration from a network and security point of view and to apply standard security configurations. This tool works like a wizard that helps to configure rights for Panorama applications. The tool then automatically applies the settings and allows them to be saved and exported to a text format for traceability. From a system point of view, in order to comply with the context of global traceability, we added a system traceability mechanism dedicated to Windows event logs, uh, which is called application logs. We are able to trace, among others, the login logout users, so in information uh, if uh, the login is allowed or not, uh, the failure of uh, the integrity check at application start, the failure to decrypt the application, a change of current application, uh, traceability of loading the application, unloading the application, etc. All of this is, of course, described in detail in the Panorama Suite 2017 software documentation. Thanks. So following these features and, and those developments, so what are the next objectives of Codework for Panorama? As we talked uh, previously, we target to our ANSI qualification, which once achieved will always be a continuous task to maintain it. In parallel to this action, we have identified key partners who are recognized for their cyber credentials in order to carry out independent robustness tests of our solutions. This allows us to continuously feed our development cycle to, and to offer a very high level of security and therefore of confidence in our solution. 
We currently are creating a cyber security panorama training course also that implements standard security configurations in a distributed environment and uses all the new tools of our two, uh, 2017 software suite in order to master application functions and specifically to understand their purpose. On product map, we plan enhancements in user management, application deployment, and distributed application coherence mechanisms. Our goal is therefore to go on to provide the highest level of infrastructure, control features, and tools within Panorama by striving to minimize vulnerability. In parallel of these areas, we are working in particular on interfacing with the world of IoT, the implementation of SaaS solution and the development of our web solutions, but always in the context of cyber first. So thank you very much for your attention. I hand back to Julian, uh, who will launch a survey and manage any questions that we may ask, uh, you may wish to ask. Thank you very much. Thanks, Antonio. So, um, First of all, uh, feel free to ask your remaining question using the question pane on the top right corner. And then we will deal uh, with your question uh, with a, a summary as, a, as conclusion. And uh, of course, we will end with dealing with your questions. So I uh, said as conclusion, uh, a summary. So. Uh, First of all, so Kodwa has a long experience in cybersecurity with key customers. Today, all operators of digital national infrastructure are concerned by threats and interested by regulation. So uh, we propose also uh, a range of tools to add the security to the, of the application to the use and the security strategy of each end user. We also offer documentation and information and expertises for implementing your cyber security level in your application. We are currently working to, towards NC qualification of Panorama Suite 2K17. There will certainly be some adjustments to make it happen. And then uh, we will enhance our security offer and adapt to the new suites related to the new needs and the future of technology. So before ending, I'd like to send you uh, a quick survey that uh, we are dealing with, with your question uh, just after this. So, the, uh, <laughs> one question coming, all your products are for Windows, or the suite is also for Linux system? Unfortunately, we are only dealing with Windows, not uh, Unix uh, mm -hmm. systems. And we do not have any plan to, uh, to go on Unix system. As a workaround, uh, by the way, we have some projects where uh, customers are using uh, Linux systems and uh, therefore they use uh, virtualization to, uh, to make a running uh, panorama. So is this uh, kind of workaround uh, working very well? But depending on the architecture, of course, and your constraint. Uh, so the question is, uh, how do the French systems align with UK, uh, European and world standards? Uh, could you please uh, give a, a little bit precision on your question? We are talking about what kind of standard? Uh, probably you mean about a cyber standard. Um, just uh, giving it a try. Yes, okay. <laughs> Uh, it's an interesting question. At this time, we are only working with ANSI, which is a national uh, agency, as uh, as I explained. So at this time, we are not dealing with uh, uh, global standards uh, for cyber. Uh, we are um, uh, relying on ANSI, uh, which, by the way, is is doing a little bit this this work. So. Uh, um, for the moment, uh, we're keeping uh, our focus on ANSI and um, for the moment, uh, we are not dealing with uh, other standards. 
uh, we have another question from uh, so we can use uh, your solution to supervise all types of uh, OS security. Um, the purpose of the solution is not to supervise uh, uh, no OS security, uh, but uh, as Panorama is uh, um, is based on Windows OS security, so we are supervising and try to manage uh, the security dealing with Panorama. So about the, the question, I don't know if you heard about uh, what uh, Julien says. Uh, when you talk about supervise all types of OS security, could you please explain a little bit more? I, give, I gave a, an answer, but uh, it would be you. possible that this is not the right answer you want to. Your solution is for all Windows infections. Or can I have other OS inside? No, no, no. Um, uh, it's a complement of the previous question. And uh, our solution is for Windows infrastructure only. So we will supervise uh, the Windows security, yeah, only. We are dealing with the yeah. security in Windows. You can use Panorama solution for dealing with the kind of uh, network uh, supervision, but it's not the, the aim, the purpose of the of the of the, the, the software. Uh, <laughs> it's dealing with kind of SNMP or kind of. Uh, protocol, uh, mainly to, to handle its own infrastructure, because when you have a big, uh, uh, a big supervision or a big installation, you, you need to, 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 what to, say, uh, to, to manage reliability and uh, availability of your system. And therefore, uh, you need to manage also your uh, SCADA infrastructure so you need to, to manage your switch, your, your servers, the, the yields of all the uh, SCADA solution. So inside Panorama uh, Suite, you have uh, some features which can handle the yield of your SCADA infrastructure. So this is the question asked. So can I also, uh, also manage network equipments or computer and servers only? Uh, as Julian said, uh, Panorama uh, includes SNMP driver, uh, SNMP v2 and version 3 also. Uh, we already talked about uh, the security implemented in SNMP v3. So, uh, so you can manage uh, your uh, uh, network equipment uh, or computers or server if they are able to uh, communicate it in, uh, using SNMP. No problem for that. Okay. You also can deal with uh, Windows management interface, WMI, uh, features from uh, from Windows OS to 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 communicate in other way with the the, the Windows equipment, the Windows server, and dealing this information inside uh, in uh, in Panorama applications. Okay. So, Is there any other questions? Yes. Is there any other questions? No, it's okay. So um, this webinar, this event is now finished. And thank you for for your participation. Thank you to you, all. You will receive by mail the link to the video, we will, which will be normally available tomorrow. And thank you for your participation. Enjoy your meal and, and have a good day. Bye-bye.